to our unit of work looking at Lisa Tiffin's beautiful text, The Colour of Music. So in this sequence of learning, we're going to start to explore um, some of the literary devices and some of the intentions and purposes of the text through questioning the author and questioning the illustrator. We're going to do that by navigating it through a model guided and independent practice. But first and foremost, we really need to navigate this essential information that I've identified is really important for all of you students to understand in order to get the most out of the text. So the first um, literary device is one that you might be familiar with. It is called onomatopoeia. And it's when we use um, or a word is formed from a sound. So an example might be bang, crash, ding dong of the bell or the mobile phone. The second one is personification. And that's when authors try to make something that is lifeless sound like it is alive or that it has human characteristics. So you might hear things like waves crawling along the beach, um, that crawling being the human characteristic that it's been attached to. Alliteration is when the same letter or sound occurs either at the beginning of a word or within the word over a sequence of words. So it's never just in isolation. It might be that repetition of that sound coming through. And synesthesia, so synesthesia is the concept that's being explored through the colour of music. And that's when people um, associate more than one sense to an object, such as numbers or letters of the alphabet or even emotions. They um, might attach a sight or a sound to that object and it might trigger um, other senses such as a taste, a smell um, or a colour association. Um, so it's a multi-sensory way of understanding um, objects. So we're going to navigate now th through the text and hopefully those expl explanations will come in handy for you as we move forward. Good luck.